This is me and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create a tube dress from scratch. Now, uh, in this video, I'm going to use Maya version 2022 up until the Unity in creating the materials. So, if you are using Blender, uh, you'll be the judge if this video can help you. And also, I'm going to link down below the link of the G drive the drive where I will upload this file I will give this as a freebie to you meow meows since you've been watching my videos so yes and I'm also filming this live so I'm very sorry for my grammatical errors and my stutters so let's start meow meows <laughs> so uh, I got here my Maya 2022 loaded and I've been creating items so it's more than ready uh, the first thing we'll do is drag drop the 3d mask onto our workspace now you can download this 3d mask in Zepeto studio um, it's available there you can just download it so yes now we got our dummy the next thing we'll do is use this this polygon cylinder just click it and it will be I mean it will load so as you can see it's very very small we'll need to click R and then resize the whole item now let's move it up okay as you can see we can see how long is the cylinder covering so let's Click this box thingy right here. It's a wireframe so you can see how long it would cover the body. Let's move it like that. Okay, is it long enough? Let's make it a little bit longer. Okay. Alright, I think that's good enough for me. Let's put it back here. And then click it again click the polygon click f11 and then just select that and delete oops <laughs> you can always click ctrl z whenever you did something unintentionally okay now we got this perfect cylinder it's time to um reshape it into a tube dress now we'll just need to use the knife tool i call this knife tool but it's the multi-cut tool i just need to click ctrl and then click it depends on you how many uh what do you call that lines <laughs> you add you add okay now let us just resize it get a little bit more fitted so we won't have problems in resizing it okay now we just need to shape this a little bit more and yes you have to do this manually okay we got we need some we need we need some fitting moment right here okay more, more. you see uh, 3d work is always like this you'll need to have the patience to create it okay don't mind don't mind that you see uh, how it's overlapping don't mind that since we're going to cover it up anyway we'll just need to okay now we'll need the hips I like doing it in wireframe although for big be for beginners it's overwhelming since you don't know which which is which but I've already I've 
already did this countless time countless times so no worries for me okay now let's reshape this got it we'll just need to make this look like a hip so I gotta smoothen it out this is just a simple tube dress I'm sorry I'm sorry for my lisp <laughs> okay now that's looking sexy let's add some butt to add some butt you just need to click F11 and then B and then just do this and move it like that now you got some butt <laughs> and of course we can't forget the front part you just need to do this okay. I think that's good enough all right this is just uh, the very basic on how to create a true dress so, okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we've created it. Let's add some design. Let me change this part though. Make this a little bit more wider. make it look like she's wearing a belt now just click f11 double click right click and then assign new material you'll need to pick a uh, blin or lambert uh, in my case I'm going to pick lambert you can pick those two but it's preferably that you pick lambert instead so let's name this dress and then let's click this and make this a belt. Sign new material. Let's name it belt. Okay. Now actually that's that's just it. I mean this is how our item looks like. Let me color it so you can see everything. Let's make this white and make this black. Okay. Did you now, it's the simplest and easiest way to create a tube dress. Now, let's create some slit right here with the knife tool because, you know, <laughs> let's create two slits right here and then let's delete. Oh, sorry, sorry. There you go. <laughs> to make it unique, you know. To add a little bit of touch. I mean, to add a little touch to it. Now, um, we won't be able to cover this part. So, let's adjust that. So, it won't be touching the mask. Since we'll only cover the waist part and not the thigh part. There you go. Now, after that, you'll need to add some shorts. You can create shorts by uh, using the mask, cutting it up and such. But for now, I'm going to use my pre-made ones. I am already prepared. <laughs> shorts. To make things quicker. Now we got shorts here. See that? Okay, now uh, let's go back to bodies. I created everything except those pre-made ones. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait. 
after after doing this, doing those stuff, creating materials, adjusting this part, we'll need to combine this too. By doing mesh and then combine. Don't forget to delete um delete his delete history. And then we're good to go. I uh, will need to color the mask. You need to use paint vertex tool. And then I personally like doing the vertex. I mean using the vertex to select everything. It's the quickest way to flood it. Now click Y and then Alt F. And then we'll have to color the legs too. Or else it will get rejected. You have to be meticulous in this step since Zepeto is being um what you call that? Uh what is the word? Forgot the word though. Um yeah, streak. Let's color this white. And then let's adjust this part more. Since it's kind of overlapping with the leg. Just need to keep adjusting. There you go. Now, um, I actually don't do the process of rigging. The copy skin and such. Since... You don't, I mean, I don't need it that much. <laughs> I call it uttering. <laughs> okay, so after that, we'll need to import the creator base set. And then take out the hips. And then delete this one. And then move the hips down here. And then export. Let me name this tube dress sample I'm going to upload this tube dress sample okay now let's go over to unity and then uh, drop drop the file here <laughs> uh, my unity is unorganized right now since I've been creating lots of items and checking them okay what was the name again? Okay, Jupiter Sample. Now, oh, see that? All we need to do is right click, create, and then material. After that, let's just name this Jupiter Material. Okay. We we'll need to click this. Wait, and then standard. I don't like it glossy. Let's it matte I mean let's make it matte and then I want a red dress now you can uh, just repeat uh, this process to make other materials but for me I just want to change the color of the main dress I don't want to change the color of the belt so let's just add it here and then click apply as you can see it's bright red which I really love. <laughs> now we'll just need to click the FBX file. Right click and then convert to Zepeto style. Now once you click that, you'll be able to see your item clear. Now this looks like a Powerpuff Girl item, right? <laughs> okay, now after that, just right click this and click this. Zepeto Studio and export as that Zepeto file. Now you can just upload this one to Zepeto Studio and you'll be able to have your very own item. Um, if you have suggestions or items you would want me to create, just comment it down below and don't forget to check the description box. I have the link for this item. I'm going to give it to you for free, okay? Now, I guess that's it for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and bye-bye!